Hello, I'm Joey Hadley, and I'm here again to teach you some more things that I learned from Gus D'Amato when I trained with him personally up in Catskill, New York. In this video, we're going to talk about the exercises that I ask my students to do before they actually get into serious boxing workout. I don't want them to pull any muscles. I want them to be really loose. So we're going to go through the things that we have them do. All right, the first thing I have them do is jump three rounds of jump rope. That way, that'll get their body loosened up, their legs uh, loosened up. Uh, after that, I have them do a set of exercises. Now one of the ones that I had them do is I had them spread the, their feet apart, hold their arms out just like this, and bend all the way to the left, and bend all the way to the right as far as you can go, turning your ear toward your shoulder. I have them do 100 of these. Now the reason these are so important is when we get to the slipping drills. I have them get their feet into the boxing stance, put their hands on their face, and they're going to be bending when they work on their slipping. Just like they were doing in this exercise. All the way over to the left, all the way over to the right, except when you slip, you go left, right, and you go down. Also, I have them do knee bends. Uh, just get in the boxing stance. Bend your knees, straight down, straight up. Bend your knees, not your back. Have them do 100 knee bends. Then I have them do 100 jumping jacks. And then I have them do, I spread their feet out, hands on their hips. Right hand, left toe, way back, left hand, right toe, way back. I have them do 100 of them. Uh, 30 push-ups. At, at the end of that, we do 30 push-ups. Uh, they need to do sit-ups. Uh, start off with 50 at about uh, 15 a week. Get up to about 150. You've got to have your abs in absolutely uh, tip-top shape, hard as a rock because you are going to be hitting the stomach and you need, to, you need to have that stomach really tight and really hard. The neck exercises, you can do them at home. You can lay on your bed. Uh, have your head hanging off the side of the bed. I'm going to get on the floor. When we had a boxing ring, I would have them lay down in the boxing ring and hang their head out over the side of the ring and have them do neck exercises 25, 1, 2, Three, four, they do 25 up and down. Then I would have them do 25 going to the left and going to the right. And then I would have them do 25 going up and down again. This really makes your neck strong and it helps you to take a punch when you get hit. <clears throat> so the neck exercises are very important just to get the, the muscles loose and warmed up. Uh, one thing I used to do is before I got in a fight or before I sparred, I'd have the gloves on and I would hit myself with the gloves pretty hard in the face and in the body because I, over the years I've known a lot of people that went out there and the first time they got hit uh, they got hurt and I just uh, Make sure all my guys get used to being hit when they get out here and they don't just take a cold shot. 